In this lesson, we're going to see how to make a simple menu like this. As we pass over each option, it'll light up. And then when we click on it, it'll stay lit up. Let's start from the beginning. At this point, we have all of our buttons that have been created. You can see that each button is in a group and it's made up of a rectangle and a text object. Let's start by defining some inputs. First, we're gonna need an input to know whether or not our button is being moused over or not. This is the perfect use case for a Boolean input. Now that we have the Boolean and it's renamed, let's go ahead and select our first button and create a listener. We select the button first so that the target is automatically assigned. Now we're gonna need two listeners for this button. The first one is gonna work on a pointer enter and we'll need another one that works on a pointer exit. Now that we have both of the listeners, let's go ahead and configure them. Let's start with the first. Now on a pointer enter action, we want our hover Boolean to be true. And on the pointer exit action, we wanna make sure that that same Boolean goes to false. To keep things organized, let's go ahead and rename our listeners so we know what they do. So the first one is the enter listener and the second one is the exit listener. Now let's check our state machine and make sure things are working. So you can see that the Boolean that we're gonna use is checking on and off as we hover that button. So we need to add some animations to activate and deactivate this button. Now we already have a timeline, so let's go ahead and use this one as button one on. Now the only property we need to change is the color of the rectangle. So we can go ahead and change this to purple and you can see we've set a key there. And now we need another animation for button one being off. Because we keyed the color in the on animation, we need to key the color once again in the off animation. This will make sure that in our state machine that our color can go back and forth between on and off. Now let's go back to the state machine and add these new states in. As you can see right now, our entry state is hooked to the on state, but we actually wanna change it to the off state. And then from the off state, we wanna go into the on state. So we have both of our animations. Now we need to create some transitions. So let's create one from the off animation to the on animation, and then make sure that that happens when our Boolean is true. And then we also want to have a transition back so that when the hover Boolean is false, we can go back to the off state. Now let's test the state machine and see if it works. As you can see, we're getting the exact color changes that we're looking for. Right now, the transition is a little too snappy. So let's add some duration so that the color change eases in between each state. Now, instead of snapping, our color is fading from one to the next, which looks a lot better. Now we need to do the same thing with button two and button three. But to save a little bit of time, let's jump directly to the next part. Okay, so we've got our animations, we've got all the inputs that we need, and we've got all the listeners that we need. You'll see that we have six listeners, each button has an inner and an exit, and each button has an on and off animation that'll change its color. We've also added in a layer for each one of the buttons that has its animations and transitions hooked up. Now let's check out the menu and see how it looks. As you can see, we've got all the logic set up to correctly hover each different button. But the last thing that we need to do is add in that click interaction so that when we click on a button, it'll stay lit up like this. To do this, we're gonna start by adding a number input and we're gonna call this button selected. Now we're gonna use this number input with a listener so that when we click on option one, the number is one. And when we click on the second one, it's two. And when we click on the third one, it's three. So we're gonna need a listener for each button. Let's start by selecting our first button and creating a listener. Now, instead of a mouse enter action, we wanna look for a pointer down action. And then we wanna change our number input to equal one. Let's also rename the listener so we know what it does and we'll label it button down. Now we need to repeat these steps on button two 
and button three. Now, once again, I jumped ahead, but I repeated those steps and made sure that each time I created a new listener, I changed the number input and the target. Now, if we play the state machine, you'll see that the hovers work, and depending on which button we press, you'll see that the number is actually changing down here in the inputs panel. Now we need to set up the logic that allows for this number to actually keep our buttons lit up. Let's start with button number one. So we do want it to transition when we mouse over, but if we click on it, we don't want it to go back. So what we're gonna do is add a new condition to this transition from off to on. We're gonna use our button selected number. Now instead of the equals operator, we're gonna to have to use a different one. If we click on the button, it's gonna equal one, and we only want it to transition if it doesn't equal one, which is what this operator here will do. Now that we have that, what we're saying is as long as the button isn't hovered and the number doesn't equal one, then the transition will happen from on to off. So let's test this out and our hover seems to be working. And when we click on it, it'll stay lit up. Now let's add the same conditions to the rest of the buttons and then see what happens in the state machine. So you can see that all the other layers I've gone in and I've added that same operator we did before. And now we're gonna test the state machine out and see if anything changed. So the hover still works. I can click on a button and you can see that it stays lit up and I can hover the other, other buttons. But if I click on it, the button that I clicked on lights up and the other ones uh, don't light up anymore. 